at all the positive things you did. What did what did you feel like you had to do and accomplish this off season to put your game in another level, not only here but in the future? Um, just to work out when everybody else not working out, you know. Um, I know a lot. We we go out a lot on the weekends sometimes, and um, just be, just get in the indoor and focus on the little things. Practice and practice. Just, just keep practicing when everybody else not practicing. Just getting that extra work in, and that and that it all pays off. Weight seemed to be an issue forever. It seems. Uh, did you finally cross that threshold? Did Ferentz give you a hug because of it? That's is negative. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but but he but he did say he did. Hey, um, he kind of like congratulated. Just keep just keep. Just, tell them, just keep at it. The more, the more pounds, the more carries. So that's that's definitely encouraging. That motivates me to keep eating. You Wait, mentioned fourteen hundred yards. Does that mean fourteen hundred yards for fourteen games? Fourteen hundred yards at the end of the season. It don't matter. <laughs> Why that number? I just feel like um, it's a step up from a thousand. I want to go, you no know, step in a positive direction. I want to go negative. Wait a minute, you said more pounds, more carries? Are you yeah. on that kind of a deal? No, that's not a deal. That's just, you know. <laughs> that's just how it is. Just some joke about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you were talking about Torrin earlier. Did he show what he shown this spring last year during that? Tor his, Torrin, his Torrin, year? Torrin gets better every day. Torrin, is, 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 he's a dog. He, he's hungry. And um, that's that's with all of the young guys, um, especially Torrin. You know, he got off today. He got he got some good yardage. And, um. We all we all just getting better, you know. Coach Brian Ferris giving us different looks, different drills, and um, different things to look forward to. And we all just been executing and just trying to um, trying trying to get better at it. He always say every day is an opportunity, and um, we we try to take our best foot and move forward. How does Brian coach you differently, maybe than uh, Chris did last year? Um, his approach different. You know, he he's more eager, and um, he 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 got different drills, mm -hmm. different drill opportunities, and. Um, I, I feel like I feel like it's, he, he's a great coach. I haven't I haven't been in there a lot, so I can't really speak on it. But um, he's a great guy. He talked about a little bit about this week about moving you around a little bit on, on the line of scrimmage and having another guy line up with running back. Have you guys gotten that far yet? I, don't know. I can't answer that question. You remember the Penn State game? Yeah. So I'm trying to learn from my mistakes. So yeah, yeah. that's the next question. Gotcha. Fair fair answer. Mm -hmm. That's why. How much on-field work did you do this spring? Um, I was getting um, a lot of seven-on-seven -seven reps, did a lot of individual period, but it was um, I was just progressing. You know, I was coming off of um, knee surgery, so um, I was in the weight room a lot. You know, I would half split up half and half, and um, I would just get that extra working. What is your uh, 